The Humble Floater, one of the original eight skills introduced in the original Lemmings, and easily the most straightforward of the bunch. A Lemming with the skill pulls out a parasol, umbrella, brolly, whatever you want to call it, falls a little slower, and can survive a fall of any height. Pretty basic stuff. But there's one thing about the floater that I've always found strange. It has nothing to do with the mechanics of the skill itself. No, it matters even less than that. What I've always found strange is, well, what color is the floater's brawly exactly? Let's go! <laughs> Those of you who don't already know what I'm talking about might be staring at this image that I've had on screen for far too long at this point and saying, it's red and white, obviously. And indeed, most official artwork for the series does feature red and white brawlies. But let me show you something. Here is the original lemmings on the Amiga. This is the floater tutorial. Let's assign some floaters and watch carefully. Hmm, those brawlies definitely aren't red and white. They're yellow with blue spots. And if you look in the skill bar, the floater icon has a white brawly with green spots. And come to think of it, in the intro, the brawlies are this weird off-white, almost flesh-colored. That's quite a bit of inconsistency all within the game itself. Most versions of Lemmings, and by extension, oh no more Lemmings, have brawly colorations similar to these. Excluding, of course, versions on systems or graphics hardware that don't really give the developers control over what colors to use. They might have less color depth, or may use white instead of yellow due to palette restrictions, or things like that, but they're still mostly the same. There are some interesting exceptions, however. Let's look at some of them. In the DOS version, the main game brawlers are still yellow with blue spots, but if you're in the PC-compatible optimized VGA, EGA, or Tandy modes, the brawly in the skill bar is a very odd red with green spots, a very distinct color combination that you don't see anywhere else. In the Super Nintendo version, the brawly in the skill bar is a solid yellow, and while the intro doesn't showcase any brawlies this time, you can still spot a closed up one in the credits that's a proper yellow. The Super Nintendo version's terrible 8-bit counterpart features a red and yellow striped brawly in the intro and credits, closer to the official artwork, but the in-game brawlies are a pretty standard white with blue spots. The Mac version has the Lemmings use solid yellow brawlies, but the skill bar features the red and white striped brawlies of the official artwork, finally. But, the artwork for this version in particular has red and yellow striped brawlies. Weird. The CDI version has the proper red and white brawlies in the intro, but the standard yellow and blue ones during gameplay, with the one of the skill bar being pretty flesh colored. The 3DO version has a yellow and orange striped brawly in its intro, and a yellow and green striped brawly in the skill bar. Very non standard. Before we go any further in time with Lemmings 1, we should look at the other Lemmings games released in the early to mid-90s. The only thing to worry about Oh No More Lemmings is that the Amiga version has a splash screen for the intro, which features the proper red and white brawlies. Every game in the Holiday Lemmings miniseries has a totally unique blue and white striped brawly in the skill bar, except for the Mac version which has the red and yellow brawly. Lemmings 2 has the red and white brawly in the skill bar, but the main game brawlies are the same from Lemmings 1 with slightly different colors depending on the version you're playing and the tribe you're on. The Lemmings Chronicles actually features the red and white striped brawly during gameplay, finally, but the icon for the skill is a pale blue, and the artwork for this game features red and yellow brawlies. You got so close. Okay. 3D Lemmings actually does get it right when it comes to consistency. The skill bar and the main models both feature red and white striped brawlies. But, 3D Lemmings is also a dated mess that basically no one wants to play, so... Anyway, back to Lemmings 1. The Windows version has pretty much the same inconsistency as the Mac version. Red and yellow brawlies on the box, red and white brawly in the skill bar, and yellow and blue brawlies in-game. The PS1 version is much the same, but the box features the standard red and white brawlies. The irredeemably bad Game Boy Color version features a unique but pretty dismal looking green brawly with blue spots. The J2ME version, five years later, along with its own expansion pack of sorts, reverted somewhat to solid yellow brawlies, with some frills on the edges this time. 
A quick mention to Lemmings Revolution, which had red and yellow brawlers on the box art in the skill bar and in-game. Nice. But then the PSP version of Lemmings 1 released, and featured red and white stripe brawlers in all cases. We finally got a game that's worth playing at all, that's completely consistent with official artwork. And every Lemmings game since has used this exact color scheme. Well, every Lemmings game on a home or handheld console, there have been two Lemmings games released for mobile phones since the release of the PSP version of Lemmings 1. And of course, they just kind of did their own thing with the Floaters Brawly. Glue Mobile's Lemmings The Tribes. Great name, guys, and not confusing at all, even though this is not a port of Lemmings 2, but in fact its own game, featured similar solid yellow brawly to their previous port of L1. And the most recent game in the franchise, Exeunt's Lemmings The Puzzle Adventure, which is annoyingly almost always referred to as just a Lemmings, even though once again it is its own game entirely, features yellow and orange striped brawlies in its official artwork and in game. Not like the one seen in the 3DO intro. Even the very simplistic icon for the skill is yellow. So, given everything we've seen, what color is the Floaters Brawly? Whatever you want it to be. All we really need is a purple Brawly to complete the rainbow. Well, I guess we have the Spectrum version for that. This was a pretty silly little video, wasn't it? But, maybe you all enjoyed it anyway. If you did, please let me know of anything else I could do this type of video on, and I promise some heftier projects are on the way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.